Hello everyone and thank you much for watching. This is me Mr. P. Let's carry on setting up Proxmox virtual environment. In this video I'll show you how you can turn a Proxmox white theme into a dark theme. How basically turn dark mode on inside the Proxmox web GUI. And the actual process to get this done um, is will take you for less than 45 seconds. You just need to run the script inside the main Proxmox terminal under your node, you click on a shell, you paste the script in here and boom, 45 seconds or quicker later. And that's it, you have yourself a dark theme. But I will show a slightly longer way because I wanna just give you a bit of advice on running stuff inside the Proxmox virtual environment. If you will look online for help or tutorials, etc., you will end up finding a, a certain scripts that the people suggesting for you to run inside the Proxmox virtual environment that might give you a, a, the end result that you're looking for. But not all the scripts are legitimate. Not all the scripts are meant to do what they're saying they are supposed to do, if that makes sense. Some of them might end up having a malicious code inside which might bring your Proxmox virtual environment offline and you will end up basically having to reinstall everything from scratch. You don't really want to do that when you spend a lot of days and hours and weeks setting everything up just been taken down by one script that you just decided to run without actually checking the source code. So how to get all this running? So this is how I decided to shoot this video. A, to show you how to get yourself a white theme into a dark theme of the Proxmox web GUI and how you can test these kind of things before you actually running those on your main Proxmox instance. In this video, we're going to use the script from the T-Tech. And this is a script. There is a bunch of stuff actually he's hosting on inside this page. There is a Proxmox tools. You can actually go and see, let's say have a Docker Alexi container having in there, or you can run a Debian Alexi container. You can have a MediaPlex Media Server Alexi container just by running a one line command. It will automatically will create you, for you a Alexi container for the Pre Plex Media Server with two gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of storage and two virtual CPUs. One of the, what we're going to do in this video under Proxmox Pro 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 tools, we're going to run this, which is Proxmox dark theme. And yes, this page contains a lot of stuff that you can just run stop shop. You just copy paste and you have everything running. And I use them time to time these scripts just to try certain things. But most of the time I like to set everything up from scratch. Just everything basically gets the hands dirty and set up everything from scratch. Having your, my own Docker installation done my own Docker Composer done, everything done, because I know that if something goes wrong, I know how everything was set up in the first place, so I can troubleshoot faster. But if something that you want to quickly go and try out, let's for example say, oh, Plex uh, container, this is a page, you are, you, I will leave a link in the description below, by the way, to this page, but this is a place where you get just one line command, you copy paste inside a Proxmox main install, and here you go in a less than a minute or so, you will have yourself a Plex media server running. So like I mentioned, we're going to use a Proxmox dark mode. And yeah, I use this script a lot. I, I lost count probably 20, 30 times already by now. And every time I run it, it does exactly what it's supposed to. And I trust the T-Tech for creating the script. And if the script will do exactly what it says on a tin, it will convert Proxmox from white theme to a dark theme. But let's say when you found these kind of scripts, you want to try them first before you go and run them on your main Proxmox install. So how to do that is quite actually simple. You need to have your, you need to create yourself a Proxmox sandbox, as I like to call it, Proxmox sandbox environment. And how we're going to do that? Well, we can virtualize Proxmox inside the Proxmox. And that's what we're going to quickly do. If I'll click on a create VM, I already, by the way, have an ISO file downloaded. ISO file download for Proxmox is the same as any ISO you will download on a Proxmox. You just pick the location where you want your ISO to be downloaded, download from URL, paste the URL to, to the ISO file you want to download, press query, query URL, file will show up, you press download and done. Or you can download from Proxmox ISO from proxmox.com website, click upload and then upload file here. As you can see, I already have that one downloaded. I think I downloaded it yesterday, the day before. And right now, let's click on our create VM. I'll give ID number of 998. I will call this PVE-Sandbox. So it's going to be my Proxmox Virtual Environment Sandbox. Under iOS, I will choose ISO, and then I'll pick Proxmox 7.3. Under Systems, everything is by default. 
under data disks i'll choose from SCSI to sata and i will take ssd emulation on i know that the lo local drive is my ssd in the laptop and i will put ssd emulation just to make a bit everything a bit more faster under cpus i'll pick two and one thing that important for you to change here is change default kvm64 to host if you're gonna leave default kvm or anything else a part of the host you will virtualize the cpu that means that your virtualized proxmox will the won't have all the features that your main Proxbox has because it's going to be a virtualized CPU and that means the virtualization features inside the virtualized CPU will be missing if that makes sense but because we're passing the host CPU to the virtualized Proxmox virtualized Proxmox will have exactly the same CPU performance exactly the same CPU features as the main Proxmox has so that's this, this is why I'm choosing host and the memory, 2 gigabytes of RAM is plenty, as I'm just going to use this for testing stuff. Network, I'm going to leave by default and confirm everything by default, and I click Finish. So right now, my Proxmox main install, creating virtual machine of the Proxmox. So I'll give a second or so for that to finish. Let's see if it's actually done. Yep, that is completed. So right now, what I can do, I can basically click Start Now. And what you will see in a matter of seconds is pretty much the Proxmox installation screen as we saw in episode one so i'm just going to follow the prompts on the screen just to get the proxmox installed and i'll be back when everything is set up so proxmox installation is finished and i can see that ip address is being given ending with 38 so i'm just going to go to this ip address 38 followed by port number 8006 and i'll be presented with the login page to actual proxmox but this is not the proxmox the main proxmox this is uh, my proxmox sandbox as you can see, there is a name, Sandbox PVE, and this is the virtualized Proxmox inside my main Proxmox instant. So before I go and start messing around with my Sandbox, I'm gonna click on a backup, click backup now, and just before the guest name, I'm just gonna put port fresh and click backup. And right now I'm just gonna have a, a backup created of the fresh Proxmox install. Just in case if I will mess up big time with my Proxmox Sandbox, I have a fresh install a safe point to go back so that while that's this is happening we can go and test out right now this dark theme script ip address is 38 so i'm going to use a termux to log in to a terminal of the proxmox 38 i have successfully logged in to my sandbox pve and now i can go to this page uh, where i will find the command to go and turn dark theme on copy the command go back in the termux left click and hold choose paste and press enter and right now the script will go download the files and install as you can see right now it's downloading over 15 files already downloaded and in a matter of seconds it's done this is how quick this actual script will run install and get the dark mode set up but i would like i said i decided to show you a longer way just to show you that there is a way for you to test these things before you run on your main proxmox install so right now as you can see this is all in a white color and if i go and click refresh it will go and switch to a dark theme so right now i can go and click around and see what what was what if everything is fine am i happy with this kind of dark mode theme uh click on options have a quick look yeah oh great let's log out and log back in just to see if a login log out feature is still working just just play around for a couple of minutes or so just to feel if everything is exactly as you wanted and once you are happy that yeah this is Dark mode is really suitable for me. Yes, I like this word, this thing. Now I can go into my main Proxmox and run the same script inside my main Proxmox install. So I'm gonna log out from the sandbox of the Proxmox and I will log in to my main Proxmox instant. And right now, as you can see, I'm inside the Proxmox decks. Left click and hold, choose paste, and run the same script right now inside my main Proxmox installation. It's the loading again, the same files, applying all the template files. Here we go, it's all done. And inside my main Proxmox instant, if I'm going to refresh this one now, as you can see, this is done. That's it. I have the dark mode inside my main Proxmox. One thing to note, as you can see right now, it says 7.3-4 of version of my main Proxmox. And this is 7.3-3. If I will update my Proxmox sandbox, the dark theme script will have to be run again. It will reset back to a white theme every time the Proxmox receives any kind of update. Basically, if a version goes by one number, the dark mode will be turned off. Well, the files will basically will get deleted and you need to run the dark mode script again. 
And that's it. This is how you test these things inside the Proxmox. You just virtualize the Proxmox inside the Proxmox and you have yourself a Proxmox sandbox where you can go and mess around with the firewall settings, with the networking settings, without any worry that you will basically break your main Proxmox install. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.